Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be talking about the new data download, the database download for both the JP and the global side. So if you guys aren't aware, tonight or about a couple hours ago, I think it was like six, seven hours ago, the Japan version of Dokkan Battle had a major update with over a hundred and I think it was 130 assets downloaded. There is a lot to talk about. Um, and Global had something like 30 that are currently available or that are going to be released available. Global stuff should hit tonight. Um, we're let's, we're going to go ahead and talk about the JP stuff. Uh, so I'm kind of hyped for it. I'm happy because that means we're getting all the 250 million downloads starting very soon. I can't wait to get the tickets. Don't know when that's going to be exactly, but when that when that happens, I will definitely let you know. Uh, I'm going to assume it's either going to be starting tonight or fairly, fairly soon on the global side anyway. <clears throat> anyway, before we start that, if you like the channel and like the news that I bring to you, please go ahead and make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are new here. I would highly appreciate it. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. Japan version 3.14.0 is available. You need to go onto Co-App right now. I think that's how you spell it. Co-App or Co-App. Uh, let me know in the comments how you actually pronounce that if there's a specific way to. But Co-App or Co-App um, is where you're going to go ahead and download and give your uh, game an update. Once you do that, you're going to download all those assets. Uh, app update, you get a 180 box space increase, which is awesome. When choosing a friend unit to bring to battle, you can now view the dupe system percentage, including the unlocked nodes, which is awesome so amazing and so much easier when trying to find a friend because if, you, if you're stuck between like three friends and one of them has like full crit one of them has full additionals you know if you want crit you're gonna fool with the one with the crit and vice versa hero cards now have logos like the fighter z units which is cool um new cards you have we have uh, sr agility bardock tokens from the existing rare agility bardock which i am saying i am not going to do i'm going to be keeping my rares and i'm just going to uh, farm out another one for the sr agility bardock uh, SSR Agility Great Ape Bardock Dokkans from number one, um, so which is awesome. <clears throat> um, actually, I think that, uh, oh yeah, the SSR Dokkan Awakens into uh, SSR Agility Great Ape Bardock. Okay, that's interesting. Um, we're going to look at that. To uh, TUR, Toro, Shugesh, and Borgos all get Dokkan Awakenings, and we have the LR Great Saiyan 1 and 2. Uh, new items, 2.5 million download ticket, so that's going to be awesome. I can't wait for that. New missions, missions uh, for Wrath of the Dragon and Kid Gohan events, same as last time. New missions for the revamped Bardock event, which is awesome. Returning events, Wrath of the Dragon story event, and Kid Gohan EZA event returning 821. Um, okay, cool. So that's going to be tonight, by the way. <clears throat> the one thing I'm going to have to say, actually, I think that should be this afternoon. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, is that the only thing that they need to do is actually fix up the core event, the meta core event, because that's the only one that's like still horrible. Um, this looks like it's going to be, yeah, okay, cool. So we have this guy. Um, yeah, so it looks like this rare Bardock over here. If you guys are looking at my screen, uh, let me go ahead and do the refresh so that way he's taking up the whole screen. So, this is the rare Bardock from the event. He's very old, very, very old school. Um, he's not amazing. He now Dokken Awakens to this guy over here, which we're going to go ahead, we're going to refresh the page so he's in the middle. This is what he's going to Dokken Awaken into. Um, and once he Dokken Awakens into this, this is a Woken state. He's, he's an SR. You can Z awaken him to an SSR. So I'm going to keep the rare just because I don't think you're going to be able to grind out the rares anymore. I think you're going to only be grinding out the SRs. So I'm keeping him just for, you know, whole collective purposes and just for like, you know, I was there when that happened. <laughs> um, so, yes, yeah, so that's there. And then once this is done, then he gr uh, transforms into Great Ape Bardock. And there you have it. So that's going to be awesome. Oh, actually, you know, that's cool, too. That means great. I mean, I already used Elder Kai's on mine. I should have probably weighed it. But that means that now Great Ape Barak is now technically farmable. So that's pretty damn awesome. I don't have his actual translation. Let's see. Uh, raises attack for one turn. I'm assuming that's going to be supreme damage. They usually give them supreme damage. Uh, Saiyan Warrior Raise, Saiyan Blood, or Saiyan Lineage. Uh, Team Bardock, that makes sense. Um, Saiyan's Proud. Uh, Saiyan's Pride. Uh, okay, cool. So Saiyan Pride and Saiyan Roar. Oh, hey, you know what? That's awesome. That means he's going to be another person that could technically link to um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. The only thing is that stinks is it doesn't look like he's going to be getting getting shattering the limit. Um, so that he is huge. Okay. Does he, what what what, uh, what actual link does he have here? Vent? What the heck is Vent? Ta attack plus 25% up. Saiyan Roar, okay. He has huge Saiyan Roar, Saiyan Pride. Ariel, what the heck's Ariel? Pr uh, proud of the Saiyan, uh, yeah, Pride. Um, where is his uh, special, like, usually it's like shattering the limit or something like that? Interesting. Um, let's go ahead and see if we get this back into Japanese real quick. Um, is this huge? Yeah, that's huge. So I don't know where the heck his Dokken Awakening special is. Uh, that's, that's, maybe it's just because he has that. But alright, cool, whatever. <clears throat> so that's gonna be that. Actually, let's go back over the SR. What does he Dokken Awaken with? Or from? 
Oh, looks like he just uses the basic metal. So if he just uses these basic metals, maybe that's why he has the two um, the, the two key from that one instead of getting like uh, shattering the limit. Um, all right, cool. That's not bad. But that means we, uh, when, when the event comes out <clears throat> on the global side, make sure to get three Fasha, three Borgos, three Shugesh, three Tora, and three. I think that's the Bardock metal. And then I'm pretty sure that's yeah, that's Bardock metal. But I think the Bardock metal is actually new. So um, yeah, but that's awesome. I'm hyped for that. Bardock's one of my favorite characters. Non canon, oh, canon, non canon canon characters either way it's from the original movie that's where he's my favorite from not the freaking stupid uh uh dragon ball minus one anyway um looks like this is going to be the super the the actual um uh the, the actual 250 million downloads it looks like it expires on thursday october 4th it does not say when it starts i'm just gonna assume that's gonna be starting very soon i would assume that's gonna be starting tonight so that's pretty damn awesome <clears throat> All Japan accounts that have Andrea, yeah, we talked about that. Um, blah, 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 blah. We talked about, oh, now you can check your items while on the stage. You go into a stage, you check your items, which becomes very super useful, um, especially when you're doing orb collection. I guess that's the only time I would really use it is during orb collection to find out what path I should go down instead of having to log out of the event and uh, going and checking the actual items. I, I feel like that's the only time that is going to be super beneficial um, or checking awakening medals to find out how many you need if you're doing like story event grinding that requires like five medals apiece. That's awesome. That that's definitely a quality of life improvement that's need, that's been needed. Um, it looks like easy A leaderboards are have been added as well. So now we have leaderboards. Um, as the first statement over here, it looks like the mods. This is going to be affecting directly the mods. So anyone who mo uh, modifies the game. So I know some of you who watch me may modify, may run mods if you're using mods. I personally don't condone it. I don't use mods. I never will use mods. Uh, but if you do use mods, don't use it on this anymore because. Uh, it's going to, it, it will shout you out and you're probably going to get banned. And you don't want that. You Trust me, you don't want to get banned. I've seen people lose their accounts and it's horrible. Especially people who put money into their into their accounts. Like, uh, I put money into my account. I don't want to lose it. That's that's my cash. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, that, that's a thing now. So, uh, easy A leaderboards are there. You can compare it with, see how you are against your friends. Um, it looks like awakening level cards are now easier. So when you max level a card, you can choose to go straight to the awakening screen. Another quality of life improvement. That's awesome. Um... I guess, and vice versa. Uh, that means, I guess, after you awaken them, you can go back to training real quick. So freaking nice. I love it. I can't wait. Like, let's see over here. Like, maybe this is... Oh, okay. I... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was, like, a, a, showing a link to how it's done. But it's okay. That's awesome. Uh, so that's a thing on the, on the JP side. So all this quality of life improvement on JP needs to come to global. We're still waiting for the friend system organization on global. That needs to come. I hope that comes out when... The, uh, hope, well, I hope that comes out very soon. Um, you can now see the potential of the friends list. We already talked about that. Uh, look, you see the orbs that are unlocked and everything, which is freaking awesome if they have any nodes unlocked and which node it is. That makes it easier. Oh, I thought it was going to show the actual, um, the card, you know what I'm saying? Like, it says 99% and 69%, 55%. That's cool and whatnot, but, like, well, I wish I would know, like, if it was, like, create additional tax. So, you know, sorry about that earlier, if that's what, what, what my statement was earlier, but, uh, at least now you know what path is unlocked, what orb uh, node is unlocked. So that's cool. Um, now we're going over the global side. It looks like we get the uh, new LR Say a Woman cleanse out on 8:21 at 2 a.m. Um, say a woman. I thought it was say a man. It's a say a man and say a woman. That's awesome. Uh, we get the new agility hit as you see over here. This is the new agility hit. Um, that's awesome, actually. Did he even come out on the on the JP side? I don't even remember. It. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I'm gonna have to double check double check on that. Attack and defense plus 60% when performing a super attack. Medium chances on the attack the enemy as the first attacker in turn. Uh, not that bad. Uh, attack and defense when performing a super attack. So that means if someone attacks before him, he's not going to get that defensive buff. But if they attack after him, if you keep him as the first attacker, he'll at least have a 60% uh, attack buff. Um, and medium chance to stun when the first attacker in turn. That's uh, that's all right, I guess. It's okay. Um, Supreme Warrior experience, Fighter's Cold Judgment, in, uh, in Fighter, Warriors of Universe 6, and Shocking Speed. I feel like his link skills don't suit any one particular person. Uh, when it comes to Dokkan Battle Builder, I'll have to take a look and see who he links the best with. But I feel like he's like a mixture between like linking with like the, the Gogeta slash Vegeta. Well, go, more, more Gogeta, uh, Gogeta team uh, versus um, uh, anyone else. I feel like that's really about it. I don't know anyone else who really has experienced fighters except for maybe Ultra Instinct Goku. Uh, maybe he would link decent with him. No, he wouldn't even link this decent with him because I think that's the only link skill he has. So uh, we'll have to go wait and take a look to see what he actually gets from that. Um, great say man one and two. This is the SSR. I guess wait, do they come only as an SSR? Uh, this is supposed to be from the friend summon, by the way. I am going to be going hard for this. Um, so yeah, some of the, for those of you who used all of your. Oh wait, no, that is an SR. Duh, I have my awaken. Uh, oh, and they're physical. What is it with all these damn physical cards? Holy crap! 
like you know uh, bandai um or atatsuki can you please please stop giving us physical freaking cards i need more like give me technique give me like so give me extreme technique or something like that you know what i mean like just stop with this goddamn physical stuff how many super physicals are you going to give us super physical super strength and super agility are like the three most popular freaking card types that there are it's insane anyway there's my rant um so this is going to be the sr card that you could pull from the friend summon if you guys ended up using all of your friend summons on um uh, on the on the third year anniversary to get all those items I, uh, that stinks i'm sorry for you i only did a few of them just to get some items they were it wasn't really worth it to me uh, so I did not do all the summons on them. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm very hyped about this. I can't wait to get this. Looks like it's super type allies, HP, attack, and defense was 30% when, um, when team includes all five super types. That's cool. Super attack, justice rush, extreme damage to the enemy, and seal super attack. Cool, they seal. Uh, passive skill, a super, uh, a hero's duty. Super class allies, key plus one, defense plus 20%. Extreme class enemies, defense minus 30%. Uh, that's awesome. All right, cool. So when they Doken Awaken, they Doken Awaken to these two. Pretty cool. All right. Nice little pose they got going on. Gohan looks like he's constipated, trying to fire one out. <laughs> Definitely trying to rip one. Um, I don't know what Videl's doing. Anyway, super type allies, HP attack defense plus 50% when team includes all five types. Uh, twin rush, supreme damage, seal super attack. That's awesome. I love it. Uh, but I mean, you still have the physical go tanks, the Super Saiyan go tanks. So, I mean, I don't know if they're going to replace them or not. I guess we'll have to see a, a damage output. Uh, uh, what is it? Um, well, and then again, it looks like they're going to be support. So. Uh, supreme, uh, super class allies keep us two attack, uh, yeah, and defense plus 30%. No attack, defense, uh, enemy, extreme, enemy, class, enemies, defense minus 40%. How many times am I going to say enemy? Extreme class, enemies, defense minus 40%. Um, it looks like they have supreme power, yeah, same thing, hero justice, uh, patrol, signature pose, in fighter, supreme power, nothing too crazy. Uh, oh, okay, cool, so it looks like we have all of the, uh, hero extermination event medals here, see, in order to get them Doken Awaken. Who, how do they get Doken Awaken from this one again? Uh, okay, okay, so this actually, oh, they are hero extermination event stuff. It does look like it's still hero extermination event stuff, so they are available. So it looks like hero extermination is how you're going to Doken Awaken all these guys. Um, so, okay, here we go. This is their TUR form now. So it's going down the LR Hercule route. This is such a pain in the butt. Super type allies, HP attack and defense plus 70%, well, all five types. Uh, Supreme Seal Super, that's cool. Uh, Peace bestowed by justice. Super class allies get you plus three and defense plus 40%. Extreme class enemies defense minus 50%. And that's their TUR form. That's insane. That's actually really freaking awesome. Um, I, I wouldn't give them dupe system. Uh, if I did, I don't even know. I, I don't know what I would want to do with that. Just because like sealing a super attack, if they're sealed, they're sealed. If they can't be sealed, they can't be sealed. So giving them additionals doesn't make sense. They are physical. Uh, crits, they're not really meant to do a lot of damage because they have no attack buffs there. So I feel like giving them dodge would be a little bit more beneficial. Uh, they do gain shattering the limit, so I, I don't know. I guess we'd have to see how much their damage output is. But I mean, they also do go to LR, so I mean, Mega Colossal damage at LR is like insane anyway. Uh, this is going to be their actual card art. That is phenomenal. I love that card. By the way, that is actually what it looks like. That's like a high definition version of it. So um, like, holy crap, like I might make that like the uh, thumbnail of my video, like just these two coming down, raining terror on you. The two big foot right to the freaking each eyeball, or crushing your skull. Oh my gosh. Uh, anyway, where were you? DBZ.space. There you are. <clears throat> so, it looks like super type allies, HP attack and defense was 100% when, uh, when team including all five super types. See, now I'm kind of happy about this because I did not go for Super Vegito. And since I didn't go for Super Vegito, I can't run a full super type team. Now that I have the, uh, the Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2, now I can. So, uh, I'm actually kind of happy about that I went directly for Rosé, but I'm a villain's freak, so I like the villains. Um, super attack. Mega Colossal damage to the enemy and raises super class allies attack for, by 30% for one turn. I guess that's just the uh, Colossal. What the heck's the Mega Colossal? Uh, anyway. Uh, super class allies key plus four and defense plus 50%. That's a really good passive. That is so much key. They're going to be very beneficial if you have any of the LRs on your team. Like, um, I guess it's like L. Actually, I think it was the LR Trunks. Is LR Trunks the only physical LR that's like there? I don't know. We'll have to go over to the card section and take a look at that real quick as well. I feel like I shouldn't be going to this much in depth on the freaking um, uh, on these units. <laughs> LR Trunks. Oh, LR Vegito is also a good one. So, oh, and LR Gohan. Okay, cool. Yeah, those are the only LRs that you could really like run right now. But that's also the global side. I guess we'd have to we have to really uh, check the JP side real quick. And take a look over here. Let's just let's just actually set this up to physical, and then rarity LR, and then there we go. So trunks, um, uh, oh, and Bardock, right? Bardock's there. 
And now we have the new, yeah, great save, man. Look at all these physical units. Holy crap, man. Um, that was not what I wanted to happen. I want to finish going over this card. I think they only have legendary power. I think that's the only other thing that they have that's available. Extreme class enemies, defense minus 70%, which is, that's actually freaking insane. Um, that's gonna be very, very, very useful for you. Uh, I don't, oh, here we go. Burning Justice. Uh, Mega Colossal Super Attack plus 30%. Uh, twin Justice Rush, Colossal Damage, and Seals Enemy Super Attack. Oh, okay, so their 12 key, 12 to 19 key, or 12 to 18 key is going, or 12 to 17 key is going to be Sealing Super Attacks. Once you get over 12, when you're at 13 or 18 plus key, that is when you're going to be increasing your uh, allies' attack. So uh, you're going to want to do the 20 key, I, I'm guessing, when you can't seal your opponent. If not, you want to do the 12 to keep them sealed. That's pretty awesome. And with the amount of key that you're getting, they're going to do very good on a Super Vegito team. Uh, just for the physical buffs and everything, even though, because, like, the Vegito's not going to give them the uh, nice, nice buffs of the, was it, uh, whatever 170 buffs that they he gives, but he at least give the 90% buffs for them being physical. <clears throat> and uh, extreme enemies defense minus 70% while they're on the field is just insane. That means they're going to have almost no defense. Yeah, that's going to be freaking awesome. That's such a lit card. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go over here. This is the extreme uh, hit that we already talked about. Uh, oh, yeah, we, oh, yeah, guys, 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 we are getting the new LR... Tien and Xiaotu. It's coming from this guy first. Although this is one of the guys that we're getting. We're getting the, the intelligence or yeah, the intelligence Tien. And we're getting the LRTN and Xiaotu from the World Tournament. Uh, on top of that, we're getting the new family Kamehameha Easy A, which is going to be awesome. That's awesome. So awesome. New Perungo Wish campaign for 250 million downloads. More Perungo Wishes. Nine wishes. So that means if I'm if I'm guessing right, that means it's going to be a whole bunch of more uh, Baba Shop treasures, a whole bunch of more orbs. Returning events, Easy A Kid Gohan event, Wrath of the Dragon Story event, uh, morning uh, missions for Easy A and SA15 and the family Kamehameha, which makes sense. Um, I have all my guys, all four dupe pads unlocked at Super Attack 10. Now all of them are like that, so I can't wait to EZA them. New items, 250 million ticket. Update GSSR celebration ticket. Confirms global we getting new summon animations very soon. Update to GSR or higher. Um, that's interesting. I have to read about that real quick. Uh, I want to take a look at that real quick too. World tournament is coming on 824, so in four days. Oh, god damn it. I don't want to freaking do it this weekend. Actually, you know what it does? Actually, you know what that works? I'm supposed to go for foot surgery on the 23rd. So that means I can't walk or do anything, so I will be like chair ridden the entire time. Um, but yeah, this is the new Tien and Chiaotu, if you guys aren't aware. They, they actually comes from the World Tournament. It's going to start out with this super agility Tien. You're going to have to get get him from the World Tournament rewards. And then you go from there. Then you Doken Wake at the Tien and Chiaotu, and you go from there. Easy to get him, to, easier to get him to Super Attack 10 because he has a semi farmable SR card. So that's the thing. Uh, celebration summon ticket uh, valid until 9-3 so I'm a uh, oh that's for summon tickets for new summon uh, animation celebration so that's just for the animation celebration so that means we are getting them 100% confirmed and the same thing with uh, so the 250 million downloads it's only valid until 10-3 so we don't know the exact start date but that should probably be starting tonight uh, you know what I might do a live stream we'll see what happens uh, what else do we want to talk about I think that was it um, we got the hit Perunga campaign we already talked about and LR new great say man yeah I'm probably just gonna make that my thumbnail uh anyway guys I'm super hyped for all of that I know that was a longer video than I actually intended it to be there's a whole bunch of new information in there a whole bunch of cards um global side JP side like everything is just so goddamn awesome I'm super hyped for that I can't wait for this Bardock to come I can't wait for all the Bardock to come and that freaking new LR cell to come to global that's gonna be insane uh, but anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. And again, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. Let me know what you guys are hyped for down in the comments below. I literally, I just can't wait. All this free stuff, all this cool stuff. I'm hoping for some dupes of Korra and maybe Janemba. I mean, my yeah, I just want more stuff. Anyway, guys, awesome. Thank you again. I will catch you down in the comments below. Peace out.